everybody, hope you're well. If you haven't realised yet, this video is all about this, this incredible piece of equipment, and this is an Anker Solax F3800. And this has a six kilowatt inverter inside, which is pretty impressive. And I don't know of another single unit that has 3,800 watts uh, battery capacity and a six kilowatt inverter. So this makes it a really, really good system for off-grid because you can't, it's not just about the battery size, the inverter is critical. So we're gonna plug this into our off-grid system in a minute and see how it runs. But we've actually got our electric agar on and a few other things in the house as well. And this will be able to cope with it. If we've used other power packs, the inverters not have been as big as this. And some of the items in the house we can't have on at the same time. But that shouldn't be a problem with this one. Who that haven't seen our videos before, this is our fuse box for the cottage. We live in a 200 year old cottage in the middle of the North York Moors on top of a hill. And we always get power cuts. So these cables come down to this transfer box. And this is a really straightforward transfer box and a really easy way to get off grid power through your house system. So we can have it on mains power, switch it off or onto generator. And at the bottom of here, there's just a plug. And what I've done is I've put an extension lead here that runs around the back of the sofa. So I plug this in here and then I plug the extension lead into the power pack. So there's the other end of the extension lead. It's on a thick cable, I think it's 60 amp. This unit here has five 13 amp sockets on here, which will plug the transfer switch into. But this is the AV electric car charging port. So you can plug your electric car charging cable straight into that, or you can get an adapter and plug that straight into your camper van. You can see it's a neat device, fits in that gap perfectly. Thanks, Anka. Perfect size for there. So we've switched it on here, and then the plug here is plugged in there, and there's a switch on the side down here. I'll show you in a bit with, for the AC, so that's switched on as well. So this is all ready to go. So I just need to switch over the, the uh, transfer switch, and everything will run off this unit. We're back over this side of the room, and we'll switch the power off, and the lights and everything's gone off, and then we'll switch over to generator. Lights have come back on. And you can always test it's a good inverter because none of the fuse is switched off when I transferred it across. Now this is running everything in the cottage and we're currently running at 2530 watts output. But this will allow um, 6 kilowatts. So it says it will run this for 12 hours just on that amount of power going out at the moment can also be used as an uninterrupted power supply. So if you have computer systems or a business where you're relying on power and you're worried about having a power cut, you plug the mains lead to charge this into a socket, into your normal household socket, and then the equipment you want to run from this, you plug into the sockets in the side, and it will take the power through the mains, from your main socket through this, charge this up at the same time, and put the power out of this so you're not using any power. But if the power goes off in any way, this will switch over in milliseconds and it won't affect your computer equipment. So it's great for medical equipment or if you're relied on power, you don't want any power cuts when you're running a business. Let's have a closer look at it. So on your, dis on your display, there's a switch here to switch on the app for your Bluetooth or your Wi-Fi. This is the display button, so you can switch your display button on and off. Gives you the percentage and a visual display of how much power's in. Here it'll light up and say how long it's going to last, and here it'll light up and say how much it's using. And it'll also give you a display when it's charging. Three USB um, fast charge units and two traditional USB units on there. A good old cigarette socket. This is only 120 watts though, so that's 10 amp. If that had been 30 amp, that would have been fantastic. I suppose you're unlikely to use this from a 12 volt side. It just gives you these additionalities if you want to charge something from it. So 10 amp from that, switch on there for that. So that switch there switches these on. That's your display, that's your main on and off button. Show me the sockets on the side, the car charging sockets and the main sockets, and that's the switch there with a little light on it to switch that side on and off. This side of the inputs, 
So this is where you put your solar panels in and this is where the mains charger goes in. There's a reset button as well. This here is where you link it to those external batteries. Fans and vents on either side. Nothing on the back, apart from these feet. So you can actually lay this on its back as well. You don't have to have it upright, which is good, particularly if you're going to put it in a camper van. And this side, next to the sockets, is some more vents to allow the airflow. In the box, you get the instruction book and you get some QR codes to go to the app. Very comprehensive instruction book, but it's self-explanatory how to use this. So a lot of information in there, but you don't really need it. Solar leads and your mains charging lead. And obviously there's no charging brick with a quality piece of kit like this. But it is quite stylish, isn't it? It's a nice looking piece of kit and it fits so nicely in that space we have in the cottage. The design of the case as well, I'll show you now the additional handles they've put on. It's obviously got wheels on the bottom with lockable casters on the front. And I've dragged this up and down travelled tracks. And I've previously done a video of a, an anchor power unit, a big anchor power unit. And we dragged that for three miles. <laughs> and that had the same wheels as this on and it was absolutely fine. Top here you have this handle. If you press that button, you have an extendable handle there. So you can use that to wheel it along like a suitcase on those big back wheels there. And when it's upright, it'll push around easily on those front wheels or you can lock those to stop it moving. So this is really a, a backup power system for a house or a business. Or if you want to have a backup charging system for your electric car, it's not got the biggest battery in for an electric car, so this is uh, 3,800 watt hours of power. So it would give 3,800 watts out for an hour, but the inverter inside is 6,000 watts. So you could use products up to 6,000 watts and it will slightly go over that as a boost. So you can charge your car from this. We've tested this and it will charge our hybrid car for about 12 miles. So if we plug this into our shed at the end of the garden, we have some solar on the roof of the shed. And that solar on the roof of the shed is running all the time can be plugged into this. Um, and we can charge this over two days to get our 25, 30 miles of power into our car. And most of our local journeys are between 20 and 30 miles round trip. So with using this and solar in the shed, as long as we get the sun, which is mainly in summer, it's not so bad today, but mainly in summer. This would be able to give us enough power to charge our car to do our local journeys. So that's free solar power, basically. Obviously, you have to buy the equipment and you have to have the car, but it cuts down on the fuel side of stuff because of using this through the solar. It takes masses amounts of solar and it can be expanded significantly. <laughs> Um, so you could use this as a full power backup system for your house, cottage or business. And with it being modular, you can buy the backup batteries and build it up to the size you want. But you don't have to have all that power. You could just buy two or three batteries, which would give you enough power for what you need in your business or your cottage. So 3,800 watt hours in here and then plug the batteries in this and they daisy change up to give you additional capacity as well. But having a 6,000 watt inverter in this means you can power almost anything. <laughs> easy charge the car, easy runs this cottage, no power, no problem whatsoever. And I, I always say this about Anchor products, they are probably the best made pieces of equipment you will ever find. They do um, waterproof speakers, they do lots of small power packs, and the quality of their build is excellent. You might pay a little bit more, um, but you're actually getting a quality product. So they've got quality batteries inside. There are LiFo 4 batteries, and they'll say they'll give you about 3,000 cycles. So that's about 10 years worth. And what that means is it's not useless after 10, 10 years. And I have to emphasize this because people ask me about this all the time. The battery um, loses some of its capacity to all the power. So you'll charge it up, drain it, charge it up, drain it. And if you used to do that every day, it lasts for about 10 years. And at that 10 year period, 
it still works, it's just that the capacity of the battery is not at the full 3,800 watt hours. It will drop by 10% or proportionate to that point and then it will stabilise at that. So it's very usable after then as well. There's a five year warranty on them and there may be a discount code below and there'll be a lot more information and links to the website in the description. So just check in the description and you'll see a lot more information if there's any offers on that. But I would highly recommend this, certainly if you're in our situation, looking for off-grid power. We're a bit limited because we live in a national park, we can't have wind turbines, so we can only use solar and through winter, particularly this year. It'd be alright if it was rain powered, but we haven't had a lot of sun this year. But through summer, this will give us enough power to run the cottage because we've got the heating on and everything, and to also charge the car. So we'd get a hell of a lot of use out of this in our sort of setup. But if you've got something like a, a business, as I say, or you want to ensure that you don't lose power, the backup in this is great as well, that uninterrupted power supply. So you plug your products into this, whatever you're running, your computers or your medical equipment, and then plug this in the mains. And it acts, acts like an automatic switch. If your mains power goes off, this takes over straight away. So really best to tell piece of kit. So all that leads me to say is thanks for Louis walking around and tapping in the background. <laughs> I think I want to go out. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.